if your female ex had all the power in the relationship, you chased after her, you text her first, and eventually she lost interest and broke up with you saying, hey, I love you, but I'm not in love with you, or she might have said, you know, something's missing, um, I lost the spark, or I'm confused, watch this video. Hey, I'm Coach Benny, and I help people get their exes back, and for five years, I was a dating coach where I had to pay attention to what tends to attract other people versus what are the things that, you know, uh, repel people. Now, if you've pedestalized your ex, right, the, your, your ex-partner, and, you know, they had all the power in the relationship, maybe they didn't in the beginning, but the power shifted and you started kind of getting insecure and, you know, thinking that maybe she was hotter than you or, you know, maybe, you know, like her exes were more of her type or something like that. And especially if she's more of an avoidant type, she's going to be more withdrawn in the relationship. And if you fill the gap and in the chase, you lost your power, you know, that's a problem. It's, it's, a, it's a problem that's going to be cyclical, you know, in your life. But specifically, anytime that the masculine chases the feminine, the feminine is going to be turned off. It has to be the other way around. And there's an age old saying that women are like cats. You can't go over to your buddy's house, you know, go walk straight up to the cat, force pick it up, you know, pet it, and it's gonna scratch you and scramble out of your arms. If you chill back on the couch, you just sit there. Maybe the cat comes up, rubs up against your leg. You know, you don't pick it up right away. Maybe you stick your hand down and let it smell it for a second, right? And then maybe it jumps up in your lap for a second. You pet it one time, it jumps down, it goes off into the other room. You're still chilling on the couch. If you want that cat to come over and just settle into your lap and snuggle snuggle down, you know, and, and not go anywhere, you're going to have to sit on the couch staying put the whole time. The best way to be centered like this is, you know, if you're single, you need to date other people and not just focus on one girl at a time. And if you're in the pursuit of getting your ex back, you know, depending on how long um, it takes for, you know, to get them back. You might want to consider dating other people in that case, but you can also pour yourself into personal development and perhaps your business for that to be your main focus. So that way you don't get too tunnel vision, too enthusiastic upon, you know, this objective of getting your ex back. Some of the principles of attraction that's really going to help you while you're interacting with your ex is outcome independence. You don't care what happens. Best way to not care is to have other cool shit going on in your life entitlement you know that you're that kind of guy where you can get her eating out of the palm of your hand not only does she like you but so does women in general you're entitled in the sense that you kind of know that you could get her entitlement creates this attitude of not really caring what you say now you have the social liberty to tell jokes right whereas if you're trying to you know maintain rapport to her at all times and manage her perception of you Essentially, you're going to end up, you know, acting really, really safe and boring. And she's going to tell you that something's missing because you're not the kind of funny guy who's just carefree and just knows that he can get her. So that's entitlement. Again, don't try to manage her perception of you. When you do that, you filter everything that you say, you know, through this lens of, oh, is this safe to say or not? You're trying to maintain rapport. So that's the nice guy, right? That's the guy that can't show his edgier side. Nobody likes that. Nobody trusts that. Okay. So you're playing it too safe and you need to be able to just like when you're talking to your girl, you need to be able to, it's like just lobbing a bunch of shit at the wall, right? You just say whatever you want to, you know, as long as you're not a dick and you know, some of it's going to stick, some of it isn't, but the fact that you're not filtering it is going to get you that credit that you're looking for with the girl. And of course there's a lot more to it than that, but these are some foundational principles that you can kind of absorb and start to use this to get your ex back once you're back in contact. And if you want some coaching along the way, click into my profile, click this link down here, set up a call with me, tell me your story, and I'll give you a step-by-step -step game plan to get your ex back.